I'm sorry, but if me sitting in this room, that mouse above my head, is not a reason to subscribe, then I don't know what is. <laughs> You may have seen our previous video on how much our off-grid solar power system cost, which we made about a year ago. So we thought it would be useful to reprice the system based on what it would cost us today and also include the lightning protection. When recalculating the price of the system, we used the same suppliers as we did originally. It's worth noting that we've never said that our system is the cheapest out there and we know that there are much cheaper alternatives either for people who want to live completely off-grid or for people who want to be grid-tied and use solar just to cut down their bills. Let's have a quick overview of the appliances that our system can run. In our house we have got a fridge, two chest freezers, washing machine, tumble dryer, bread maker, electric kettle, water pump, lights, TV, charges for phones and laptops, and in the summer, our aircon system. Okay, let's look at the prices. It is now about nine o'clock in the evening and I have been up since four o'clock this morning with our baby Albie. Not the best time to be talking through numbers and doing maths, so hopefully I won't make any errors. If I do, please be kind. Hi, after filming what you've just seen, I went through the prices and I made some big mistakes. Um, I think at one point I even claimed that the solar panels alone cost £60,000. £60,040 and £60. And 60 pence. So I'm going to be re-recording this bit because it would seem that I lost the ability to read. Hopefully this time there won't be any cock-ups. So this is a breakdown of what our solar power system would cost in November 2022. We have 20 LG 355 watt neon black solar panels. That would come to £6,040.60. The Renesol end clamps would be £25.20 ad VAT. The Renesol mid clamps would be £90.72 ad VAT. The PV DC cable that we used would be £104 ad VAT. And the two string four pole disconnects £89.70 ad VAT. The Pylon Tech US 3000C batteries, £9,145.50 ad VAT. The Pylon Tech brackets, £187.20 ad VAT. And then the long DC cable packs, £84.40 ad VAT. The Servo GX, £350.40. The Colour Touch GX50, £236.40. Then we've got our MPPTs, the 250-100 is £1,088.40 and the 150-35, £302.40. The Quattro 10 kVA 48 volt inverter, £4,171.20 and the Lynx Power Ins, £607.20. The Victron Energy VE Canned CAN Bus BMS Cable, £16. The lightning protection, which we did a video on recently, £845.79. Other bits and pieces, fuses, cables, lugs, terminals, plugs and sockets, connectors, adapters, that adds on an extra 2507 so all in all, that brings the system to about £28,000. We know that's an awful lot of money and Fraser often uses the analogy that it's no different to buying a car. Some people will buy a Jaguar and some people will buy a cheaper car. Okay, that's me done for now. Back to the previous footage. We often get asked if we use a generator as a backup. We've only had the system in place for a year and a few months, so we've only gone through one winter so far. During that winter, we used the generator for 17% of our electricity needs. However, as we've said in one of our previous videos, we didn't really modify our behaviour. Um, we used our tumbler dryer as we wanted, we used our washing machine as we wanted, and there are definitely things that we could change to improve that. This year, we want to cut that down ideally to zero because the price of petrol for our generator has risen phenomenally. But realistically, we're looking to reduce it to 5% maximum. Just wanted to point out that of the people who watch our videos, only 24% are subscribed to our channel. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed. If you haven't and you enjoy watching our videos, I'd just like to ask you a bit of a favour and ask if you could subscribe. And once again... T oh my God, I think that's a mouse. <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry, but if me sitting in this room, 
that mouse above my head is not a reason to subscribe, then I don't know what is. <laughs> If you want to see what happened when we ran all of our appliances at once, watch this video here.